Hey everybody, so I'm really excited to be back for my next installment in my life skills series. As you can probably tell, I'm in the bathroom, which means that I'm going to be talking about bathroom life skills. So listen, everyone uses the bathroom, so no one person, meaning you, should be responsible for it. So I have six super simple bathroom life skills I want you to teach your kids ASAP. Uh, I'm going to go in order from like easiest to maybe perhaps least savory, but really all of these things you can teach your kids in five minutes or less. Super easy. Okay, so the first one is teach them to replace the toilet paper in the toilet paper holder. It is mind-boggling to me that this is one of the biggest complaints I see in the bathroom because it is literally the easiest thing to do in the bathroom. And I wanted to just intersect this with, um, I recently did um, a blog post and video on grocery shopping life skills. And in that video I mentioned, um, and post, I mentioned that one of the things I do when I come back from the grocery store and my kids are helping me put stuff is away is if I have toilet paper, I immediately send them with the big package to replenish the bathrooms and fill up toilet paper everywhere. That way, when uh, you totally avoid the argument of, oh, I didn't, I couldn't refill the toilet paper holder because there was no toilet paper in the bathroom. Done with that. Okay, so that's like a super easy one. Um, second is I love refillable soap bottles. I cannot even remember the last time I bought like a new pump, you don't need to. Um, so, you know, we have, I actually just upgraded, um, I'm gonna show you some, a bunch of really awesome full circle products that I'm now using in my house, but um, they have these very pretty refillable soap bottles, both in regular and foam soap form, which my kids love. And then you can just buy the big jugs of soap um, at the grocery store. So this is a great one for kids, even if they're kind of little and they might be spilling, it might actually even be good that they're spilling because what I like to do is I have I, um, and there's a photo on my blog too of this, but um, do it on a counter in, in the bathroom or the kitchen. And then if they spill stuff, use that soap and like have them wipe up and clean the counter, which actually is tip number three. So that's like a double bonus. Teach kids to wipe down the countertops and the mirrors in the bathroom. Okay, I'm gonna move in this back half to the toilet. <laughs> Did not mean for that joke, but anyway. Um, my last three tips are related to the toilet and they're all very important. So number four is, I am not by any stretch a toilet mechanic, but I was actually a little bit excited last summer when Laurel's like, she was like pushing the flusher and she's like, the toilet's not working. So um, I taught her to fix the toilet lift chain and it's super easy. I know it feels a little gnarly, but the only thing you really have to worry about is um, the back lid of the toilet is kind of heavy and awkward. So just like, teach them to remove that with care and then just show them where the chain is and like where it needs to hook on and boom, fixed. It's such a good one to teach kids. Okay, five, cleaning the toilet and actually six is plunging the toilet and all, they're both sort of self-explanatory, but I did wanna show you a couple of cool products that I'm using from Full Circle. So listen, cleaning the toilet, everybody needs to deal with it. Nobody wants to deal with it, but they should. So just te teach them to wipe off the top and the underside of um, the seat and then also to scrub it um, with a brush. And I just use natural, like I use baking soda and maybe a little lemon juice um, in the toilet for cleaning agents and that's it, no chemicals. And then plunging also, if your kid is old enough to clog the toilet, they're old enough to learn how to plunge it. So, um, yeah, okay, so these are like brand new, but I just switched over <laughs> to them, which is why I'm holding them up. But I'm using like, how pretty is this plunger? This is like from Full Circle. And um, also the brush is like also similarly pretty. And what I love about these products is that both of them have um, this, it's called dry earth this um, disc in them, which naturally absorbs um, odors and prevents mildew. So that's really good. And then actually the thing that I think is super genius about the brush is that once your once it gets like really nasty, it has a removable head. So you can like just replace the brush and you can, you know, still continue to use the handle, which is really good. So um, anyway, yeah, loving those products right now. They're so awesome. So those are my six bathroom life skill tips. Seriously, you will improve your life and be living your best life if you teach your kids and get them on board with them immediately. And if you want more in my life skills series, 
this is like what I'm super into. I'm doing weekly content on it all like through the summer and you can find it if you go to bostonmamas.com and just search life skills and you'll find a ton of content. So good luck. Let me know what you're working on and I'll see you next time.